Hi everyone, let's make Nigerian jollof rice. The ingredients I'll be using today are bell pepper, ginger, plum tomatoes in a can, onions and garlic. You can use fresh tomato. I also added some habanero peppers in there to give it a bit of kick and some spice, you know, the Nigerian in me. So we bring that to a blend and let it blend finely. We put it in a pot for it to boil so this it can dry up and thicken. While that happens, we get our other ingredients together. We've got our spices, we have our rice, chicken stock, curry, maggi, garlic powder, tomato paste, bay leaves, salt, onions and garlic, and olive oil. So I chop up the onions and the garlic. And also we have our boiled tomato um, blended mix. So I chop up the garlic and the onions. I put a pot on fire. I put a bit of oil in the pot, not a bit, quite a generous portion of oil. And I add in my onions and garlic to fry. I also added in the bay leaves. I like it to fry first so I can really get the scent and the flavor. In goes the tin tomatoes. We let that fry for a little bit and like cook properly and then we're going to go in with our blended tomato onion and tatashe mix we put it in and let it um fry for a bit and simmer then we put our spices we have curry coriander um maggi and salt to taste make sure it's really flavorful stir that and then let it fry properly let it simmer let the flavors get in there you know what i mean then we add our chicken stock mine is frozen as you can see so here it is defrosted we let that boil and then wash our rice give it a good wash and then drain the water out of it and then the rice goes into the boiling tomato mix and once we have that in, we add a little bit of salt to taste. I you can see I put a aluminium foil over my pot to retain the heat. And then I cover it to further seal the heat in and let it steam properly. I leave it for about 45 minutes, go take a shower, come back. Mmm, it's looking good. Guys, what do you think? I give it a quick stir. And you can see our jello rice is ready and good to go and it smells yum guys it smells delicious believe me i'm not just capping because i cooked it it really smells good and tastes good too so the jello fries is ready to be served so here we have it plated ready to be consumed thank you guys for joining me on this video i hope it was helpful tag me on your jello recipes Thank you for watching.